Welcome to Read in Minutes. Here's a short summary of the book Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman. If you enjoy it, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Now let's get started. Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman is a thought-provoking book that explores how our minds work and make decisions. The author, a Nobel laureate in economics, divides our thinking into two systems, System 1 and System 2. This summary will delve into the key concepts of the book and explain them in simple language. Introduction Kahneman introduces the idea that our thinking isn't just one unified process. Instead, there are two main systems at play. System 1. Fast thinking. System 1 is our automatic, quick, and intuitive way of thinking. It's what helps us recognize faces, understand simple sentences, and react swiftly to danger. This system operates without us even consciously trying, like when we catch a ball without calculating its speed or trajectory. System 2. Slow thinking. System 2 is our deliberate, slow, and analytical way of thinking. It kicks in when we need to solve complex problems, like doing math or evaluating evidence. This system requires effort and concentration. Cognitive biases. Kahneman explains that our minds are prone to biases, systematic errors that lead us to make incorrect judgments. He discusses various biases, such as the anchoring bias, where we rely too heavily on the first piece of information we receive when making decisions. Loss aversion. The book introduces the concept of loss aversion, which is our tendency to fear losses more than we value gains. This can affect our decisions, making us overly cautious. Prospect theory. Kahneman presents prospect theory, which explains how people evaluate potential outcomes. It suggests that we don't always make rational choices. Our decisions are influenced by how options are presented. Overconfidence. The book highlights how we often overestimate our own abilities and knowledge. This overconfidence can lead to poor decisions and a failure to learn from mistakes. Thinking biases. Kahneman dives into various thinking biases that System 1 is prone to, such as the availability heuristic. This occurs when we judge the likelihood of an event based on how easily we can bring examples to mind. Hindsight. Bias. The book explains the hindsight bias, where, after an event has occurred, we believe we knew it was going to happen all along. This can cloud our understanding of how unpredictable the past really was. Choice architecture. Kahneman introduces the concept of choice architecture, which is about how decisions are influenced by how choices are presented. Small changes in how options are framed can lead to vastly different decisions. Intuition versus statistics. The book discusses the clash between our intuitive thinking, System 1, and statistical reasoning. We often rely on intuition even when statistics would provide more accurate answers. Overcoming biases, Kahneman suggests that while we can't eliminate biases, we can learn to recognize them. By being aware of our tendencies, we can make better decisions. Endowment effect. The book explains the endowment effect, where we tend to ascribe more value to things simply because we own them. This can lead us to make irrational choices in both buying and selling. Regression to the mean. Kahneman introduces the concept of regression to the mean, explaining that extreme events are likely to be followed by more moderate ones. This counters our tendency to attribute everything to our actions. Planning fallacy. The author discusses the planning fallacy, where we tend to underestimate the time, costs, and risks of future actions because we focus on the best-case scenario. Economics and happiness. Kahneman challenges traditional economic theories that assume people always make rational decisions to maximize their happiness. He introduces the idea that our experiences and memories shape our sense of well-being. Two selves. The book presents the concept of our experiencing self and remembering self. Our experiencing self lives in the present moment, while our remembering self creates our retrospective view. These two selves often have different perspectives on happiness, peak end rule. Kahneman explains the peak end rule, which states that our memories of past experiences are heavily influenced by their peak, most intense point, and how they end. Nudge theory. 
The book touches on the concept of nudge theory, suggesting that small changes in the way choices are presented can influence our decisions in a positive way without restricting our freedom. Happiness versus life satisfaction. Kahneman differentiates between moment-to-moment -moment happiness and overall life satisfaction. Understanding this difference helps us see why we might make choices that don't maximize our immediate happiness. Final thoughts. Thinking fast and slow provides a deep exploration of how our minds operate, offering valuable insights into decision-making, biases, and human behavior. By understanding the interplay between our intuitive and analytical thinking, we can navigate the complexities of our choices more effectively and make better informed decisions.